Hello and welcome back to Super Mario World Let's Play. So we're on to part six now. Um, off camera, I've gone back to that old uh, ghost so that I can save. So today I'm going to try and see if we can get a bit further through uh, Forced Evolution. That's where we got to last time. But first things first, let's go back here because I saved at that ghost house. I think it's the ghost house of choice for most folk because it's it's easy to redo the ghost house. You can get through it fairly quickly, and it saves. The only problem is it's is it's miles away from Forest of Illusion, so I have to go all the way back through here, right the way along. And all the way down here. So this is the first level in Forest of Illusion. I remember we, because we got to that little checkpoint there, that is why we're starting off midway through the level. Oh! Get rid of those. I get rid of him. Ow. Get rid of that. <coughs> We're going to lose Yoshi now anyway. Because what we've got here... It's a pea, umbre uh, pea umbrella, a pea balloon. An umbrella would be quite useful. To Mary Poppins, just jump on his brain. The only thing is, you've got to wait now <laughs> for this to run out. Uh, this is where you've got to be really careful when you pick up that, and then you go. So that gives you the ghost house. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to this level again. I can see now we're back at the beginning. Ah, uh, and we're going to finish this level the other way. So we can get the other path unlocked. Now you can see here what happens when you stand on them. Oh! I made a dog's turn of that. And Yoshi died. Thanks, Yoshi. You really are a pain in the back. Yes, fire flower. So turn that into a coin and him. But it doesn't affect Caterpillar Man. I don't know why. This game just teaches you that caterpillars are immune to fire. That's all this game teaches you. And don't step on them because they'll go crazy. So now we're going to ignore that box and just keep on rolling. Oh, he dead! Hallelujah! Oh fudge! I don't know why you can jump on them and make them angry, and then you can't jump on them when they're going to finish them off. And that's that level done. That's us how done with this level. 
Hooray! So that's that level now done. So you'll notice now that that gives you down to a water level. What I'm going to do is going to go back up and I'm going to do the ghost house. This is a a nasty little ghost house. I'm doing this one. Ow. So I can remember the go I can remember doing this ghost house, but it's trying to remember how you get through it. Cause like all ghost houses, there's some cryptic nonsense going on here. You wonder what happened to those flying fish from the original Super Mario when you stomped on them. Well, this is where they ended up. In here. Ow! I thought it was going to go over me. Right, so we're into a room now with... You remember a room like this? There's loads of ghosts. This is from the, the early and easy ghost house. But these are quite... Annoying ghosts. Yeah, there you go. Uh, being tiny helped. But becoming big again didn't. Of course, oh! I thought I could have jumped through that, but obviously not. What an evil ghost house this is. This, I think, is, from what I can remember, my least favourite, my least favourite ghost house. I'm trying to remember all the little tricks and how to actually get through this. Oh, I left it too late. This draws you round to the left. I think, I think, I think, I think the... Oh, that was poor on my part. Right, let's go back to our favourite little room. I think what I was going to say is, I think that down there, going round that way, you go to one level on the left. And I think on the left, the exit, one of the exits gives you the Blue Switch Palace. But I may be wrong on that one. So I've come all the way back here again. I'm gonna pick up. Not that Yoshi's much use. I'm gonna come back here a few times. Just cause now that you do that, you get the life. So I'm gonna build up some lives here quickly. I've done that ghost house before. Back up to five again, that'll do. And if I get down to one again, I'll come back and I'll save. Means then you've got a bit of a trek all the way around. All the way around. Right, let's give us another bash. There is a there's a cryptic route through this level. A strange route through this level. I'm trying to remember what it is. Uh, I've stuck myself in a corner. That wasn't particularly clever. Ow! Oh. 
So all my safety nets are now gone. Just like that. This is why I don't like this ca this castle, this ghost house. Oh, oh for goodness sake, another set. Let you go past. Jump over him. Right, so we're into this room now. This is now trying to remember how you get... Okay. Ow. The nice thing is this is going to drop. Oh, that was pretty useful, the chocolate spanner. Right, it's so trying to remember which way you do this level. I think what I need to do is I need to come here. And go here. Because then you go round... That guy goes up there. And there's a door here. And that... Because if, if you go in the other door, the other orange door, yellow door... Um, I think that just makes the level loop round again. I'm hoping that's correct. Yeah, there we go. It's now quite a long... So now, this level here... I think what happens is, one of the exits to this level... Ah, uh, yeah, once you do that, that this happens. I think the correct exit to this level... Pulls the the route the route. Oh, I've missed the jump. Ah, uh, no! Stop falling over f stuff. Ah! What was going to say? I think the the correct route pulls that across. Now, I honestly don't remember how you actually get which palace you get from that one. I honestly cannot remember how you do it. I think you go down one of the pipes. Although the blue switch palace, from what I can remember, you're not... You can skate by mostly without doing it. Most I favour the cape. So going back there quite a lot. It's just because you've got no timer and you can get items really easily. I think if they'd programmed in a second one of those, it would be really useful. The trick here though is if you can if you can resist getting the life for as long as possible. Oh for goodness sake, I didn't mean to do that. Oh feck. Cause Yoshi is super useful for this level. Cause he can eat these. I don't know which pipe it is, I think it's a I think you go down. Oh. This is why Yoshi's really useful for this level. I think it's one of these pipes, right? Ah, good. They're one of these... Uh, oops, not doing that pipe. Oh, get away. It's not down there, or down there. Ow! 
the hit detection sometimes takes it. You know, it's one of the other castles that some of the hit detection is. There we go. There's the hidden one. Now, I think this gives you. Oh, it gives you another level. Forest secret area. Okay. That doesn't help when you do something as asinely stupid as that. <laughs> right. I honestly don't know. I, I don't remember this. One goes up, one goes down, as you may have noticed. And they kind of zigzag. They're zigzagging around each other. I don't know what is the, the big secret here, and it's missed that box. Pain and suffering is what that causes. Let's go back again. And pick up. This time what I want to do is do the opposite and go fire. For that level is to go fire flower. Fire flower is the way to go I think for that level. Because that way, then you'll just turn everything into you just turn everything into coins. If you've got uh, if you've got the original version of this, and uh, I think it's Competition Pro, uh, controller or one of the a turbo controller. What you can do, excuse me, the turbo controller is. You can switch on, I think it's A, it's the Fire Flower button um, on the switch. And if you flick it to the side, um, well the one I had anyway, if you flick it right the way to the side, you could fire two at the same time. It's a bit cheap, but it really helps. Now it's been ages since I've played, I've played the other parts of the game so much that I can remember what they are like. This bit, not so much. So I honestly don't really remember this that well. I don't know what the... I don't remember what you get from doing this. So far, Yoshi has survived. Oh. Just got to be really careful. And if you... Ah, yeah, you see that there, there's... Some boxes. When you get the blue switch palace, you can stand on them. And I think the blue switch palace is around here somewhere. Yay! So, something I should have clarified in one of the other videos is that you can get lives... Yeah, this is the end. You can get lives from the... It's a forest fortress. So you can get uh, lives from picking up the green mushrooms, from getting 100 coins, and I think you may want to correct me in the comments below if I'm wrong, but you can get um, lives from getting a certain number of, of what you've noticed. If you get a thousand points from a thousand points quickly, you'll get another life. But I think what you can do is you can get. Um, the score along the top, I think that, I don't know if it's in this game, but one of the other games, I think if you got to a certain level, a certain score, 
you could get a life as well. But I may be wrong. That might, might be one of the older games. Okay. That is there purely to tempt you. But what you can do is if you're feeling daring. I'll try that again. Is that that takes them out. I think that is the only way you can take them out. I think I've just I just remember now there is um I'll wait for this to go by. There is a secret in this level. But trying to remember where it is. This is one of the more... This is almost a Zelda level in Cryptic. Way through this level. For the hidden exit. Because you've got... You go through... I think you can actually walk through a wall. In part of this level. As you can see, all the, all the walls so, so far are in... The same ground as you, in the foreground. But there's one, I think, that's, that counts as being in the background. We're going to get the the panic music now. Uh, okay, we've lost the the fire flower. So safety net is gone. Drop down here. Ah! Right. Okay. So. As you can see, this part of the game is really quite tricky now and quite frustrating. So, um, really, I think it's time to stop there for this episode. Um, we'll see how far we can get next episode. Hopefully, we can get past this. The, that forest fortress is um, one of those extra dungeons that has the ink has resner at the end so it's just it's one of those um times when they repeat the boss so it's not as enjoyable but we can go back and we can do that at some point the whole point of this is to, to play as many levels as we can but now we've unlocked it we can go back and play it anytime okay uh, if you've enjoyed watching uh, could you ha please subscribe and hit the bell for notifications? And if you think I've missed anything out or got anything wrong, then you can leave a note in the comments. Cheers.